Hi guys, I've been doing a few more electric gigs recently and it was about time I upgraded my soft guitar case. So I'd heard a lot about mono guitar cases. I went, I tried, I bought. Here's a quick review for you. So I'm sure many of you are wondering, why would you spend your hard earned money on a gig bag, soft case? It's a very good question, especially when there are so many guitar pedals out there to buy. However, I needed to upgrade, to upgrade my game in a big, big, big way. The reason why... This thing. Old Faithful. I had this when I bought my first Telecaster um, about 15 years ago, um, and this kind of came with it, um, and I've been using it kind of ever since. It's seen a lot of, uh, a lot of hard work. Um, I like the look of it when it came. It was like a nice tweedy look, very fendery. It's got some nice, you know, logos on there and stuff. However, very, very quickly, we had some problems. Primarily, this. Put a guitar in there, and it's starting to rub it to pieces. I tried everything to uh, try and improve that. It didn't really work. So I ended up using hard cases for a lot of my gigs. Now, hard cases are fine, and most of them are very, very, very durable, and they save your precious guitars from getting bashed and knocked and being thrown in the back of vans and all this sort of stuff, so they are very good. However, recently I really needed to change what I was using, primarily because the gigs I was doing just required to have as minimal equipment as possible. I was using public transport for most of these gigs, so it was about time I upgraded. Now, I went for the Mono, I have to look at the serial number here, or the modern number I should say, the Mono M80 Guitar Sleeve Gig Bag is the official title. Um, I saw a friend of mine uh, using one of these, a bass player friend of mine, um, and it just looks like the right thing. Just the look of it is very, very professional. Um, so that's what struck me first, you know, it's, it's nothing too in your face, it's very much, you know, does what it says on the tin kind of thing. Um, they were pretty solid, but what I really liked about this case, <laughs> zip noises, um, was the fact that in here you have a nice little space for your neck for the guitar. So when that guitar is in there, it's going to sit in there, it's going to stay where you need it to. So that's really, really important. Also what I liked about this case is that if you undo those zips, that's as far as it goes, you can just slide it in from the top. I don't know if you can see that. So it doesn't need to go all the way around, you slide it in from the top like so. One Telecaster, one case. Slide. You really didn't need me to demonstrate that for you, but still, you get the idea. So it slides straight in there, it's really nice and snug, and it's going to save my Telecaster from getting hit and knocked on public transport, on the London Underground, on various other places. So, a couple of things I wanted to talk about regarding the case. As amazing as it is, um, having used it for about three gigs now, more zip noises. Um, I think it's a really, really good case. It was a little bit pricey. Um, I paid um, 120 for this case, um, which is retail price, all good. For the standard of the case, I think it's a good price. I know there's a lot of people that won't necessarily go out there and spend that sort of money on a case, but this is an investment. Remember, you're protecting that pride and joy of yours. One thing I don't like about it, I found something I don't like. So in order to get to the wonderful space in here where you can put your leads and other things with its own little zip at the top and other small zippable things in there, and if you can see that, there's another little zippable pocket in there, like a mesh thing. Very good idea, very, very cool. However, recently, I put in a few guitar leads and that doesn't give you much of a space to expand. If you stick a few guitar leads in there, this top bit bulges up, this little clip doesn't expand, you can't make the two things marry up. So it doesn't have as much space as I initially thought it was going to. That being said, it's a rugged case, it's borderline waterproof. I don't, I don't think it, I'd you know, go out in torrential rain on it, but um, I did a gig on Saturday. Uh, I was caught in a bit of rain without an umbrella and I was concerned that it did the job, dried out perfectly. So yeah, there we go. Um, really, really, really quick review for you guys. Um, oh, one other very good thing to mention. Is the straps, how could I forget? So the Fender case has no straps. Has a couple, like, couple of nicely placed handles, which is fine. Um, and you can attach two straps, but the straps that came with it are really thin and flimsy and no support whatsoever. So not really very conducive to moving really with it, which is kind of the whole point of having a lightweight gig bag. Anywho, this comes with very thick, very wide and lovely straps. Not only can you um, stick those on your shoulder, one or the other, and adjust them, and etc., etc., it also comes with a nice buckle that you clip that goes across your chest here. So if you need to be walking around with it for a long period of time, it helps 
spread the weight across your whole body so that you're not sort of just putting it on your shoulders and you can carry a bit of weight on there. So really, really good idea. Um, I've seen that on like some high-end backpacks and stuff like that. So it's a really, really clever idea. Um, so yeah, I'm now a fan of mono cases. Um, I will be looking to get a few more. This will do obviously very well for my uh, my strap and my telly. So this is the Slimline telly strap case. Um, I need to look into whether they do any soft cases for acoustics. That'd be quite helpful. Um, and maybe one for my Gibson 335. Like that might be quite useful as well. I don't think they do that though. Maybe something to look into. Um, but really impressed. High quality. Um, I think that's going to last me a long, long time of a lot of road wear. So well done, mono cases. I think uh, anyone that um, is in the market for upgrading their, uh, their soft gig bag uh, game, they should definitely look, check out mono cases and see if that ticks their boxes. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And please do let me know if you want me to be reviewing any other gear in particular. Um, I've got a few more videos coming out soon. Um, so yeah, hit me a comment, hit subscribe. Uh, hit the little bell button if that's what you fancy as well. But uh, if not, see you in the comments section. Thanks.